Hi, everybody. This is Bobby Richardson. I'm coming to you today with a brand new topic. I wanted to talk about something that I've looked up on YouTube and I didn't feel like someone was, people were really getting the full understanding of this. And that is a simian line. So, a simian line that is on our palm is our head and our heart line that is joined together. So, um, I will show you that in a minute and uh, let's get into this topic. The reason why I really wanted to bring this up is because I've noticed there's been a few people that are coming up the ranks with this line on their hand and they are more in tuned with their spiritual side than most people. And it's almost like we've been waiting for this shift in energy to be able to come forward and uh, be our authentic selves because the energy is supporting us as we are learning to support ourselves. So I'll show you what the line looks like because I have one on my hand um, in a minute. But um, it is literally the heart and the headline joined together. So the ones, the videos that I looked up, they were kind of dismissing in a way. Uh, it's a very rare sign. Not many people have it. Um, and then and then it kind of went into uh I don't know, not, not very nice stuff about us. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not altogether the truth. The thing that I get from it is that when the heart and the headline is together, it is, it is something that we can handle um, merging. So we can handle merging our head and our heart, um, meaning our logical and our intuition. And we've got a way of being able to work through our life while listening to the logic, but also using our intuition. Um, and I suppose I can understand why the others would say it wasn't a very, you know, there's all this hoo-ha about people who have them that aren't very grounded, that are a bit whimsical, that are all this, because in the past, that's kind of what we've been perceived as. So for instance, my whole life has been guided not through books, not through education. I failed miserably at school, couldn't retain anything really, um, apart from those things that I was extremely interested in. Uh, but I learned to use my intuition. So in other words, when I went out into the workforce and wanted to become an artist and had no education whatsoever, I went for an interview as an artist and they they said, no, you've got no education, so fail, ba you know, go away. And then a few months later, I got pulled to the, um, to the employment section in the newspaper because that's how old I am <laughs> and um, ended up finding exactly the same place that... Um, had an opening so I went back for another interview as an artist and they said no ba -bow, no and then um after that it's almost like my guides took over I had intuition as well but I was pulled to another advert I couldn't remember or attain the name of the company that I had gone to an interview twice that's how bad my memory was with retaining names um, and then and then I went to the place and I couldn't remember the address as the same either. I, I'm just not very good with names, remembering names. If everyone had a symbol on their head, um, I'd probably retain that or energy vibe I retain that that I remember. Um, but uh, names no. So I ended up going to this interview and I found that it was exactly the same place. This is the third interview for the same place within the same year. 
for the same job, which was just crazy. Um, and I went in there and they saw how, you know, persistent I was because I just went, well, I'm here now. I might as well just go in for the interview, whatever, you know, embarrassment or not. I'm just going to follow, follow my guides, follow my intuition and walk in. And they felt a bit bad for me. So they ended up uh, giving me another job as a photolithographer, which is working with the plates and that on before it goes on the press. Uh, so, yeah. Really interesting, but that's kind of how I, I, my whole life is like. I have, I have these pulls to something. I, I set a goal, and then I have a pull towards it, an intuitive gut feeling towards it, and I really feel like that is what the Simoline line is all about learning to use your heart and your mind together to be able to create the reality that you want instead of logifying everything making sure that you've got all the education making sure you've got all the all the certificates that you need um yeah there's really been even even later on I ended up getting a job as a graphic artist through my guides and my intuition and I I didn't know how to use even a computer at that time. Computers came out. So there's, I just sort of plundered my way through. I got my full license on a nifty 50, you know, these um, nifty 50 kind of a moped and a full motorbike license using that, which then gave me a easier route to get my car license and so forth and uh, if anyone knows what a nifty 50 is it's a, a little moped that had, doesn't even have gears I mean it's easier to ride than a 10 speed bicycle because there's gears on a 10 speed bicycle so yeah anyway there's it's it's just the way that I kind of move through my life I follow my gut even if it goes against what everybody else is saying so I can imagine People with semolene lines, they kind of go through their life and everyone's going, why, why would you do that? Why would you leave a country and go over to that country when you've got no money? Oh, but I have an intuition the money's going to come, you know, that sort of thing. And that's happened to me as well. So we kind of take a lot more leaps off the proverbial cliff into the unknown trusting. Uh, so that's what semolene lines. So this is, this is a normal palm, like that's a normal palm. I do have a join in, in there where I've got my head and my heart line. So these are your, your head and your heart line. Sorry, it's all backwards across here. And see, it's actually joined here. This is my right hand. So my right hand is where I'm at. In this reality, I've had to learn to join my head and my heart together and, uh, and learn all of that again. So that's kind of joined, but it's got a kink and it's also, it looks separated. So there is an actual crease going across, but it's still, that's what normal people's hands look like with the head and the heart separated like that. This is a semolene line. So my line of my head and my heart just goes straight across. So you can see it like straight across. That, that is a semolene line. And, uh, yeah, so there's not too many people with those those lines that go straight across like that. No, no break in it whatsoever. Um, so yeah. And also I noticed people that I noticed coming up the ranks. Well, at least one of them anyway is Ma uh, Massia Stefano has the same line on his hand as well. Um, and he's got a very strong connection to his soul and uh, as well. So there's, I believe that people with this line have opportunity, especially if it's on their uh, right hand, which is bringing it into logic. Mine's on my left hand, which means that would be my like a past life where I came from um, was my head and my heart was together. If it was on my um, left hand, 
I mean, my right hand, then it would be presently, I would be presently grounded in that head and heart being together now, which I do feel like that is a grounding that I've come coming into because of that join that's created in between. But really interesting. We are guided by our souls, but we're still living very grounded in this logical world although uh so in other words as soon as i got the graphic art job someone flicks me a book and i learned crazy how to create how to work the programs because i was really um focused in on making sure that i would remember everything and i become very very good at my job very quickly um because of that that uh, ability to focus and use my logical brain on things that i really am uh, aspiring to be so there's a head and a heart that's working, gelling together. Um, so we're here to bring forth the new uh, link into uh, like bridging both intuition and logic together. We're here to br bridge everything and then share that with humanity and say, um, you know, this is... This is what our your ability is once you come into the stillness within yourself to be able to create the reality that you want. I believe that's what it's about. That's my take on it. Um, I'm not a palmist, honestly. It's just through observation being that I've I've had a similar line all my life. And you know, I'm in my 50s now, so I like had a lot of uh watching other people and how they react and um, and also, and then my own journey and my own life, and then seeing other people with similar lines and how they seem to come across as airy fairy, but they are grounded. But there is that definite link from from the soul to being able to be grounded on this earth and bring it through. So yeah, I thought I'd do a little quick skip on that, and uh, I'll leave you there. Thank you. Bye.